So what's up fam? It's Najee Dorsey, Black Art in America. Um, wanted to share with you guys something I thought could be a teachable moment. I had a, recently wanted to support a, a good friend of mine who took over as chair of a nonprofit. And oh, let me fix that comment. Mm. And so they had an event. We talked about there being an art component and I donated, you know, a, a work. Um, I work that you know, retails for say twenty retails for twenty four hundred dollars, and I told myself, well, you know, I want the organization to bend, you know, to to get the greatest benefit of the uh, donation. So just price it at fifteen hundred, and you know, whatever you guys make gravy, I figured that'd be a great price point. Get to the event, <laughs> and it's priced at eight hundred, and I'm like, you know, I'm kind of floored, you know, because it was a total disregard for what. Um, you know the, the 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 intent of the artist and the intent of the gifter um, and what we had talked about. So uh, a little upset, really upset. I actually, you know, left the event early, and so waited a couple of weeks. Talk with my friend, and you know, he and me mentioned that the board basically outruled him with deciding to say, well, their price it at eight hundred dollars um, because they, that's what they felt would you know, serve their audience um, and have the best chance of moving. And I really thought that was so uh, short-sighted. I mean, one, you know, I'll never participate again. And here we are, you know, and given, you know, there's a market, there's a, there's a, a price point that's already been established within the marketplace. And then not only that, but the wishes of the donor, um, being completely disregarded was a was a slap in the face and then it's like again when i say short-sighted because um what happens with that relationship you know i mean here you are as an organization and you've got an artist giving you work you know framework at that giving you work to benefit your organization and you know only thing you had to do was present it in a manner of which you know which was negotiated in terms of price, uh, whatever marketing was supposed to be associated with it to help market the work, let people know and understand the value, maybe talk about the artists and the provenance of the work. I mean, because this art, this piece was, you know, it's been in a number of three museum shows and it's in, uh, uh, in a major show that's opening at, open, opening up at PAFA uh, in a couple of weeks. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a more than deserving work. So, I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts and hopefully, you know, moving forward, more organizations and people that approach artists to, you know, gift work or to be co-collaborators and, and presenting work. And there's a, you know, mutual split that's mutually, a split that's mutually beneficial that you guys would take those things in consideration. You don't be, you know, again, short-sighted and only thinking about, only think about what, um, what you can get in the moment but you know think more long term also think about you know res how about respecting the artists how about respecting you know if, if i was a collector they gave the word respecting their wishes and so the you know all these things are important and so oftentimes these are things that you know are completely you know completely disregarded without you know any consent for you know how it may affect you know the artist or that relationship or that artist work in the in the marketplace i mean too often we're hit up you know with give you know give us a piece of work so we can benefit this organization and while we want to work we're professionals too you know and so you know i don't even give um pieces like that because you just you know you've been bombarded you've been burnt and the last thing i want to hear is oh do it for uh do it for exposure you know what i'm saying i mean it's just kind of garbage um i've yet in the years that i've been um you know doing this full time and even when i was you know, doing a part time before moving to Atlanta in 2005, I've yet to have someone come up to me and say, "Hey, you know, I saw your work at this at this benefit auction. Uh, somebody else beat me out on the price, so I went in a position to get it then. But I want to buy something from you now because you supported that work, and I want to support you, and I love your work. I mean, it just it just doesn't count. It just doesn't happen like that. Typically, at least that's my experience. And so when when you find an artist that wants to support your organization, uh, you know, honor that artist, you know, honor what, 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 the, what the intent behind the gift is and be true to that. And don't be so short-sighted, um, with, um, you know, building a relationship with the artist because, Hey, 
you know, we matter, the work matters, you know, we're professionals and, you know, I mean, point blank, that's about it. I mean, there's probably more I can say on the, on the, on the matter, but I think I, I, I made my point. Um, look for win-wins uh, if you're an organization and you're looking to approach an artist. Have you bought from that artist in the past? That was really the reason why I donated the gift. I mean, this was a collector that supported my work. And so I wanted to support him and support the organization. So um, support the artist first um, and foremost. You know, collect the artist's work, share their work with other people, be a patron, be a support base for the artist. Don't just come out with your hands out all the time, you know. So look for the win-win in this situation. And, you know, I'm, um, I'm going to leave it at that. This Najee Black Art in America coming to you as really as an independent artist uh, at, at this point with this particular conversation. And so it's just a, a random thought I've got this morning. Have my coffee. Hope y'all have a blessed one. Peace.